Old man Woody likes the crooked cock. Dick, I want to talk about the acid because this is something I have no huh. experience whatsoever with. Um, I, I, I have never um, done acid. I've done you know mushrooms. And, and so, like, from that standpoint, how do they differ from mushrooms? How does acid Did differ you like from mushrooms? mushrooms? I really didn't. I had a really bad trip and I yeah. passed out in public. You said it. I didn't Where hear those you? words, Couch. You, you what in public? Oh, I had a really bad trip and I I, I collapsed in public and hurt myself. Oh, how Where at? Did Walmart. Collapse? Like hurt oh, as in. Well. I've told the story on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend that some people didn't see that one. Well, you know, at least isn't isn't it wasn't somewhere where you could be embarrassed, right? It oh was yeah, so I uh I uh I, I had I never taken them bit. really at any dosage, uh, mm -hmm. but I did. And, uh, and a girl and I went to, uh, out to dinner right after I took them for some right. reason. I didn't know. I thought it took like two hours to like an edible. And I thought I had plenty of time to go sit down at uh, Sonny's barbecue. And, and I'd be sitting down to some nice ribs about the time that the, this magical ride kicked in. But no, it kicked in at the Walmart checkout aisle where I was buying some carrots for a friend. And uh, I, my mouth just went dry. My, my, I felt like I was having a panic attack. And I looked at the girl and I said, I'm going to bathroom. And I handed her the carrots and stumbled toward the Walmart bathroom. Uh, I black, I, I, it turned out later, I realized that I walked past the bathroom oh. right into one of those sunglass kiosks that spins <laughs> face first into that thing full of all the hooks. And it, uh, it cut my head open a little bit. Oh God! Uh, I must have hit my head on the way down too, because when I woke up, it hurt, and uh, I had a crowd. <laughs> I had a crowd. Had a crowd surrounding me, including a nurse who was like, you know, and and I'm 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 like, oh yeah, low blood sugar, low blood sugar. Low blood sugar. Uh, the cops show up, and I'm trying to get. I'm trying to like explain to them, low blood sugar, low blood sugar, and then we get to uh, fucking. We actually make it to Sonny's barbecue where we stayed until we were sober. And then when I got back home in my driveway, we started cheering. Like our team just had won the combined World Series, Stanley yeah. Cup, NBA championships. And I was the the, the light heavyweight champion of the world. And uh, and then we just <laughs> sat in my bed, not, not, not having sex, not making out, just hugging each other the way that people hug each other after the aliens are defeated at the end of a movie. Just, like just so... Happy to be safe. Like at the end of Speed, when they're going to that, uh, when they leave the bus finally, and they're hugging in that little thing, sliding yeah. out from under the bus. Like, 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 like when the Death Star explodes, and, and, and they're all just like, yeah, the, the, the Ewoks, everybody. So happy to just be safe again. It was a nightmarish experience. It was terrifying. I'll never do mushrooms again. No, I'm not a... <laughs> uh, Damn it, I wish I had, had missed that. Did you make the people of Walmart that day? Did you... Did no. You exist um uh, i got i got in and out of there luckily the lady i was with the girl i was with was uh johnny on the spot she like she she, she reached down and she was like you're coming with me and the lady was like i'm a nurse he has to stay and she's like so am i he's coming with me <laughs> and she and she, she she was and 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 so she she got me out of there she saved me Oh, that's what you know, those Good. kiosks, like I've always just wanted to run into one of those full speed with the They're sunglasses. Like porcupines. <laughs> <laughs> They're like porcupines with sunglasses on them. Yeah. Uh it's I, I don't like mushrooms either. I never have. They make me too too out of it. Um I don't like being in public and I can't control my shit. Acid is a whole nother experience, I think. It's like you you like you like drinking. You're a man that likes booze, I think. I I feel like me and you have similar testosterone slash vice patterns uh guns <laughs> teddies, liquor explosions these are um, a few of my favorite my favorite things. Things. <laughs> yeah. so I think when, the, like bong <laughs> <laughs> when the bong hits and those girls tits <laughs> <laughs> and i feel okay i have this i have this skill of knowing what girls Someone write want the rest of that song <laughs> I feel like I've got I feel like I can use it on guys, too. It's like it's just like being it's like being extremely happy and a little it's like the best drunk you've ever been in your life. Like that perfect hit of three beers and it lasts for about 14 hours. And that's what you've got. That's, that's what you've what got. Acid to work. Does? That's so much time. Yeah, that's it true. really. Well, it, it has a, it has it. It's uh, no, you can't sleep at all. Uh, so so take it at one. <laughs> and actually, I got a good story for you guys. Do you guys know who Onision is? Yes. 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 Okay. We don't know him, so, but I know his stuff. 
Yeah, but you I know his stuff. You know how he's so. Um, uh, he's accused story, of being a big time creep for a lot of. Yeah, things. this this story ends with Chris Hansen sending me a picture of his Emmy. Uh, Chris Hansen from the To Catch a Predator mm -hmm. show. He's been on the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he sent me on Twitter. I was uh, rubbing rubbing my predator interview in his face, and he he got off of his couch and he put his Emmy on his coffee table, and he sent me he sent that as a picture to prove me wrong. What an uh, asshole! Yeah, to show <laughs> that's what a fucking up. bitch. He just sent a picture of your so, balls back, just like like holding. Them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that I is an him. asshole move. I mean, Dick started it. No, He's allowed. Well, to... there's a, I set him up for it. Yeah. So Chris Hansen has been like. Has been after Onision for uh, for months. Like Chris mm -hmm. Hansen is now no longer on the news, and he's trying to be like a YouTube guy. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. He would probably come on your show. Actually, he's been we on the show. Him. Yeah, he was on oh, a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, a long time ago, when he was uh, when he was just starting his true TV contract. Okay. Well, now he's a uh, now he's like an e girl online. Uh, yeah. He's trying, to, he's trying to get money, <laughs> like interviewing freaks, and but like he doesn't quite understand how. Oh, I love it here. Um, so he's been, he's been chasing Onision around who is, uh, you guys know of him. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know anything about him. Uh, all I know is he's like accused of, uh, he's accused of kind of, uh, uh, grooming some girl at his house or something like that. I don't know. Oh, okay. uh, that's, that's the cop's problem. That's not my problem. Um, I'm breaking laws myself over here. So who am I to judge? What he's Not me. Over? Yeah, exactly. Certainly not. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so. So Chris Hansen tries to set up an interview with Onision and uh, because Onision w wants to do it live and Chris Hansen has to pre-record it because he's a bitch. Uh, <laughs> Chris, Chris Hansen says, no, I'm only going to do this pre-recorded. We're going to do it my way. We're not doing it live. Uh, I'm Chris. I'm Chris Hansen. I'm the big deal. Uh, he's been like he's been like on his front steps and all this shit. Uh, so I in my. Uh, dicking around in my infinite wisdom uh, tweet at Onision saying, hey, man, uh, why don't you come on my show? Uh, I'll interview you. I believe you. I'm here. You know, I'm ready to believe you. I'm not like these other clowns. I <laughs> like the I Ghostbusters line. We're ready to believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I support everything. I don't care how poorly you're treating women. I've done worse. Come on my show and I'll tell you. And, I'll, and we'll be we'll pals, swap right? stories. So I think oh, he's a big deal. He's got like 5 million subscribers. That's just a joke. He's not going to say anything. So I say, hey, it's Monday, 2 in the afternoon. I'm going to, I'm going to, I got nothing to do. I'm going to pop a tab of acid back. Uh, I'm going to, and uh, play some <laughs> piano until I, play some piano until the keys start running together, until it starts throbbing, you know, and I start stretching out until I start getting the. Uh, you said the, this was three beers. <laughs> what kind of beer do you drink? Wait, <laughs> you, don't, you don't feel that way after three beers? Wait, wait, it's not called ever beer. The piano melts. <laughs> <laughs> I drink IPAs, bitch. What do you mean? You don't hallucinate after? There is a little bit. Okay. The hallucination is a little bit and it kicks in. It does kick in at about the hour mark and kind of goes in waves. Um, mm. But it's nice. It's not like it's not like you're watching. It's not like you're watching these uh, these nightmares come to life. It's just kind of like things are kind of wiggling around, like, like breathing at you. Yeah, 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 exactly like that. It's same thing as mushrooms. Like if you stare at stucco, it'll kind of undulate and move around. Yeah. Um, and if you and things will get like kind of a neon outline around. It's nothing. It's nothing. Nothing that will freak you out. Um, so I pop in a pop a tab of acid, sit back, have a pour myself a drink, and. Um, Friend of mine, Peach Saliva, goes, Oh my God, you're talking to Onision tonight? And I text back, What are you talking about? Uh, and apparently, apparently, Ralph from the kill stream had retweeted it and it got a lot of attention, my initial uh, overture to Onision. And it got enough attention so that he agreed to do the interview. <laughs> he said, Yeah, I'll do the interview tonight on the Ralph retort with Ralph and Dick Masterson. And I said, "Oh fuck, Peach! Um, <laughs> I just did a shitload. Of, I just did a bunch of acid, like just, <laughs> just now." Uh, and she goes, "Oh, oops." Uh, so <laughs> I like. I'm not gonna. I just called Chris Hansen a bitch. I'm not gonna bitch out myself, especially <laughs> over drugs. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm the when you are you if you say that the drugs if you stop doing something because of drugs you are an addict. That is the definition of an addict. Uh, if you are able to live your life as normal while still doing all the drugs and liquor that you can, you are not an addict. You're fine. You can do whatever you want. But the second you start changing your life, you're an addict. Um, so I say, fuck. So I, I come into the other room and I say, honey, my girlfriend's there. because She's working from home. I say, honey, uh, that guy, Onisigan, agreed to the interview. What should I do? And she goes, you got to throw that up. 
So I said, yeah, all right. I got to throw it up. Uh, I never thrown anything up on purpose before. Like, usually I'm trying oh. to do the opposite. After drinking heavily, I'm trying to desperately keep it down. Mm. So I run downstairs and I just start doing what I see in movies, like <laughs> touching something. So I'm trying to find some kind of That'll magical work. It'll tickle work. your <laughs> uvula. That'll make you vomit. Be- yeah, that's what I thought. But apparently, like, You're I've got half this is making me gag fist. A I'm sorry. Half, I've got. I'll try to speed through the throwing up part. I've got half of my fucking fist down my throat. Like I'm feeling shit in there that I sh- probably shouldn't be touching. You realizing suck that a if I good dick. Exactly. You- realizing that if I was in prison, I would probably be a hot commodity. Damn, uh, I'm terrible at sucking cock with how easy it is to. <laughs> I, I wasn't nothing. gonna complain. I'm feeling nothing, and I'm down there doing it. So I'm like, uh, honey. Um, I, I, you need to go. Can you please go to the store and get me some Ipecac? Because I remember. Oh my guy, god! Wow. I remember on Family Guy they had like an Ipecac joke where they all drank and then threw up yeah. immediately. She's like, "Well, I mean, are you sure? Like, if I drive to the store and drive back, you're probably gonna be fucked anyway. Just, just, just fucking do it. Just go to the store and do it for me, please. <laughs> so I'm chugging salt water because this is something else I heard: salt water and milk. All the salt almond water is the thing. Yeah, man, house. you're really diving deep into weird Twitter posts you've seen <laughs> of her advice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperate because I can't throw up. So she, she. This will either me. make me vomit or send me into renal failure. <laughs> She calls me from the store and she goes, "Hey, uh, I don't know what that I don't know what that stuff was, but the guy at the the guy at the pharmacy says they haven't made that in 25 years." I said, "All right, um, well, I, I I don't know, I don't know. Then just come home." So she comes home and I'm laughing, you know, hysterically because I'm locked in for another 12 hours. Um, <laughs> how, how long did you we, have to vomit? It? I don't know how acid works, like how fast it distributes through your system. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, apparently too fast. No, wait. To, to take acid, do you? Is it like a postage stamp? You sort of eat. It's a tab. Yeah. yeah, you can get it in an eyedropper form, um, but it's like a tiny little stamp. So I know what you're thinking. Logistically, trying to throw up a tiny little stamp is retarded. Like I couldn't throw up a Listerine strip. That's like something I have experience with. <laughs> oh, you have? I can't. No, like it wouldn't work, right? Like you, it would just be all over me or something. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, I was just running on desperation. Okay, okay. So the interview starts, and I don't know if you've ever listened to this Onision guy, but like he's super progressive and he doesn't use like he's his wife. He starts telling the story about his, I, I think his wife ha- is like trans and had a sex change. So he's referring to his wife as he. And this is right when, right when the acid hits, and he's like <laughs> talking about this weird polyamorous relationship with a ch- with a seventeen year old that moved in with them, and I'm I'm trying really hard to listen and make sense of it, but I swear to God, it doesn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just really- it's just not clicking with you at all. <laughs> no, he's ta- and he's talking like he starts talking in the middle of sentences, and he's like, "Yeah, well, she said, I mean, there wasn't anything there," and he he talks like Destiny. Like where where it's just really fast and rapid. And I, I like I start thinking, like, is this am I even talking to a man? Like, am I in the wrong? Did I call into the wrong show? And I, <laughs> I bring up notepad and I'm typing to my girlfriend who's sitting there. I'm like, am I crazy? Like, is this is this guy? Does this guy make any sense to you? And she's looks she looks at me. She furrows her brow and looks at me and then just goes like, no. And I was like, oh, thank, <laughs> thank fucking God. Um, so I, I, uh, I think I managed to figure out that he was molested as a child. I asked him point blank. I'm like, wait a minute, wait, 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 were you molested as a kid or something? Like, like this is, uh, and he's, it's just dead silence over these questions. Like, no, what are you, what are you talking about? Like, no, man, I really, I think, I think the, the acid's telling me that you were molested as a, as a kid. <laughs> Did you say that, that? Or were you still yes. hiding the fact that the acid was, I was still, I was still hiding it because right okay. before we started, I said, Hey Ralph, I got to tell you this story when we're done. Like, let me tell you this story when we're done. <laughs> um, so it's a real, it's a real bizarre interview. I think I held it together pretty well, but I had my, I had a bathrobe tied around my waist, <laughs> like a diaper. Uh, I was soaked in sweat in the studio <laughs> down here wearing nothing else but a bathrobe. Um, after the interview, <laughs> just like Chris Hansen. Like, <laughs> yeah, after the just like Chris Hansen. So after the interview, I was like, "Oh yeah, by the way, this was all done on acid." And I go tweet at Chris Hansen, like, "Hey, but here's here's how you do your fucking job, Chris Hansen, uh, from a real <laughs> pro and a rocket scientist on LSD. Uh, uh, give it a listen." And Chris Hansen sends me back a picture of his Emmy in response. Like, well, I do all like right, man, but you didn't get the fucking interview. Yeah, like, he that was yeah, he, he is, that was yeah. the predator. Emmy that was the, the gets. 
um, that, that if there was bitch. any predator for you to stand up to, it was the guy who's got a forum of teenage girls, not not chumps that you trick into showing up with your squadron of cops on standby, you pussy. Um, well, let's. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I ended on that note. I love that the word play. That was the best shit I've ever heard.